jump in here if you want to go to the front. We go to the front for all of the works. Uh, um, just you can see a little more. Um, I think you obviously get up on the fourth floor and uh, you can see the horses up the backside gallop out and everything. On the backside, you can't really see much, uh, especially with all the tents in the infield. We can normally drive through the infield, but that's obviously closed off right now or we can't get down where we'd like to go. Have you ever missed any breezes due to <laughs> unforeseen circumstances? Uh, no, traffic's normally not an issue. Maybe the rider's radio's not working or something, but most of the time it goes really smooth, especially when we have the radios on the riders. They know where we are and we can kind of give them a heads up when we're ready and stuff. They're just gonna go th uh, five eighths, just a smooth five eighths together. We're eight days out, so uh, both similar work to last week, maybe um, maybe not quite as much, but just kind of let them cruise along. What are you hoping to see? Uh, just horses in the bridle, um, you know, traveling well throughout, decent gallop out, hopefully uh, come back well um, after the work and then um, get a good inspection tomorrow morning and uh, hopefully they look, look really good and uh, it'll be seven days out tomorrow and hopefully we're ready to roll. The uh, Godolphin team's here, Dan Pride, Michael Banahan, um, here to watch um, wet paint and I believe they have another filly with Brendan uh, that may be working very soon, so they're going to get uh, have some action this morning. Oh goodness, we have a backed up deal here. Is the track open yet? Uh -uh. Okay, give me just a minute. Right? Yeah, Louie, give me about 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, Louie, you can start jogging. You and Flavian, you can start jogging. Twelve and one, twenty-five and three, twelve and one. Thirty-seven and four, thirty-seven four, pick it up a little bit. that late 49 and one minute and four minute and four that's good <clears throat> 13 and three 13 and three that's good that's good I had 13 and 2. That, that's good though. They really come home good. 1, 11 and 2. 2, almost 3. I think I hit that pole late though. Yeah. I think I hit this pole late. <coughs> good. <laughs> really good. 37 and 1, 37 and 1. Forty-eight and three, forty-eight and three. Minute and four, minute and four. I had a minute eighty-one. What'd you have? Minute eighty-eight. I had a minute eighty-one. Give him a minute and four. Thirteen and three. Very similar times overall, but that set Different broke off hot, yeah. Yeah. Which you would expect that with wet paint, yeah. being not a speed horse. All right, now I think the pressure's off. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, no, it's always it's always on. It's just, how you doing? Good, good to see you. you. <laughs> no, you're busy. Uh, it's it's yeah, the pressure's always on. It's just uh, getting through, just getting driving over here was driving enough. Over enough, yes. That was smooth. Good move, uh, broke off uh, nice and easy the first part. Louis was on the inside with the Alice look and uh, Flavian on wet paint. But yeah, broke off um, nice and easy, picked it up down the lane, nice gallop out overall. Very pleased, obviously we're going back, we'll talk to the riders, see what they thought. But uh, from, you know, through the binoculars, it looked well. Uh, similar uh, times on the other Phillies, they did break off a little quicker, uh, being flashy Jim and botanical. Um, Galloped out well, very similar times, actually same 
same time splits were a little bit different early but a very steady move from both of those and a good gallop out and uh, hopefully uh, they bounce out bounce out of those moves in good order but um, from what we saw um, very good moves so, showing you that she's going to handle the dirt yeah from what i see um, you know you never really know till race day but um, uh, totally uh, happy with the way she's been moving on the um, dirt and her last two moves uh, last week and this week were uh, really good really really good uh, she's traveling well into the bridle and uh, very happy with what we see so overall this stage eight days out from the oaks you, you pleased with your three tillies right now yep yeah, everything's good um, obviously we gotta go over them good make sure everything looks good with them and they come out of these works in good order and uh, you know we got some schooling to do they both schooled uh, I'm sorry, all three Phillies schooled, um, um, what is the date, Thursday, Tuesday they schooled in the paddock, it's their first time they've been to the new paddock here, they handled it really well, uh, happy with the way they took all that in, I, and they'll obviously go back um, at some point next week with a crowd. And just as we pull up to your barn this time of year, what's it like for you in general? Um, well, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit more traffic, um, you know, with people, but um, overall the training part of it's um, the same. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're still looking for good works. And this whole driving to the front side thing, it's not just a, uh, um, you know, for the Oaks Dillies, it's every time we breeze horses. So that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Move, she's gonna go as a yeah, yeah. No, I, I couldn't have drawn that up any better. That was very, very good. 